Okay, Debbie. You got this. She thinks she's gonna get promoted. I, I don't have the heart to tell her. Yeah. Uh, um, huh. Okay, yeah, someone should work on that. Yeah, we we don't want the Day of the Triffids to happen. Oh god, I just made a reference to Day of the Triffids. You did. Yeah, no no goddamn Triffids. <laughs> But whatever they offer you. Mysterious distress, distress signaling to pet. Hmm. Odds of a trap? Very high. Well, good thing she's literally a psychic. Yeah. I think it's best if we find somewhere to regroup. Yeah. Let me go see about recruiting those dudes. Yeah, because we need to get more people involved in this. Well, I mean, if they're living here, they're already involved. That's true. I... I'm okay, I'm gonna fight. Fuck! What? I'm fighting... <laughs> well, fucking hell! Did How you... can they, like, fucking floor me like that? <laughs> they can fucking... What?! They will no. fucking stomp you in Egypt. No, here- so, Fucking hell! Okay. D discretion is the better part of valor. Here. Yeah. I'm thinking just- They're not even fighting me. They're just flooring me in one hit. What the fuck? And, uh, hi there, tall lady. Who's shooting at me? With magic guns. I have those too. She tall. I follow your symbols, O Artin. I draw them in my lifeblood. Come along, Jesus. you belong, what? you belong with... What are you singing? I, I don't know, it's just some... You ever see the Rescue Rangers? Oh, yeah, I remember yeah, that as that, a kid. Yeah, there was an episode with a, a mouse cult based around a soft drink. And it had just this really catchy song that all the mice cultists... That show was really dark now that I come to think of it. It really was. Well, I found one of them. Oh. Oh, this is bad times. Oh, there's three more. Maybe one of them. Maybe one of them will... No, no. I know better than to hope. Let's not get defeatist here. Mm. Yeah, but let's be honest. Do you really think any of them are gonna be, you know... Not crazy at the moment? I don't know. I really don't. We gotta try anyway. Oh, these guys are safe. For now. The camel will protect them. Yeah. Trust the camel. <sighs> oh, is this, is this a safe zone? Until next time. Yeah, this place is the well, safest thing to get here. Huh, looks like somebody. The kingdom. Find out more about those guys. They're pretty mm. secretive, you know, even though no one really. Knows who runs the kingdom. Mm. I've talked to my contacts about it and, like, it's pretty. Let's find out. Staccato City sounds beat the tempo. Cue the dance macabre. 
The hand that deftly holds the smartphone is skeletal with rot, skin like old tea leaves. The ears are mostly withered away. A tongue like a dried date waxes eloquently into the receiver, setting the pieces playing the game. Empty sockets stare from sunglasses. They still have formidable wink. The drawn rictus always grins knowingly, frowning as a fad for the living. He smells oddly sweet, honey and the wilted flowers of an absentee lover. With perfect suavity, he adjusts a silk tie and tips his hat. He shambles away with such an undying style. His name is Saeed, at least that's the name he would give you. No one remembers Saeed's name. Not even Saeed. They're mummies. Tip's hat, mummy. Ah! There is no morality or loyalty. Those rotted away long ago. There is no grand plan of world domination. The debonair mummies continue their eternal existence. The internet has been kind to the shamblers. Information and anonymity all at a touch. The flesh be preserved, but the spirit be willing. Undead, but not anachronisms. They delight in the digital toys of this faceless age. Oh my god, look. Oh wow. What? An internet cafe. Yeah, man, that takes they, they have them in other parts of the world. Like, they're really common. Yeah, you think about, like, other countries that don't have, like, good internet. But I'm just like, man, that takes me back. Yeah? Huh. Yeah, I should check <sighs> this place out. I mean, despite everything, it might be safer than setting up shop, like, a block away from the Illuminati. This is true. Probably got some good hummus here. I could get some. I could go for some hummus. And there's another one. Oh God! He looks like he did. Wow, he did, he did it himself. Poor guy. Rather than deal with all this going outside, I mean, I don't. I don't blame him. Oh yeah. Blah. Bad oh. dates. Never mind. Worst date. Different kind of bad dates. What was that? A, a tin of dates oh. from 1939. Oh, so you dated the dates. <laughs> I have to keep the spirits up somehow, Debbie. I understand. Oh. Oh. Okay. Check him off. So that leaves one last. Yeah, check him off the list. That leaves one more. What did I tell you? They're all dead. We don't know that. Or worse. We, we found one. Case. We found one guy alive in Kingswood, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll find one here. Yeah. Well, he's he's breathing. Yeah. Jeez, he must be injured. I don't, I don't mm. have any healing powers. I mean, he's lucky to be alive. Oh God. Yeah. The boy named Tutankhamun holds his mother's cold hand. We come to him in that moment, and his eyes see the ka of his ancestors. He makes us offerings of milk and honey. We sing to the boy. Inspired, he makes us a vow. Um. Okay. That's not good. Fortunately, they're pretty simple. I mean, like, we, I only had one, like, basic bomb thing class mm -hmm. in the army. And... These are just like dirt simple. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do anything else. But list the hurt locker more the ouch purse. 
Well, I mean, they'll still fucking kill you. Oh, yeah. And, like, yeah. destroy buildings, but they're, they're kind of, like, they're pretty amateur. Yeah. You just hit the off switch, basically. Yeah. It doesn't matter the green wire, the red wire, the blue wire, they're just the wire. Mm-hmm. Not even the good part, like season two. <laughs> That's a lot of explosives. Um, these guys are technically in the city limits. What is it? A truth caller? I raise my arms up. Truth I speaker. speaker. That's very disconcerting. Yeah. Oh, see? Internet cafe. Ah, <laughs> uh, not the bingo machine. Of course, they want to do the most damage. That'll spread a cloud of bingo over the whole city. Also, people will lose access to bingo. Yeah. Oh, not the donkey. There's still that one guy. Just don't let me forget about him. Yeah. Maybe we'll run into Shit. him. He's up. He's here somewhere. He's in the northern part of the city. Wait, is that one? Is this some abandoned building? Or... I mean... I know it's got lights. Probably some... Someone's probably living here. Oh, wow, that looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Your hats did the fusion dance. <laughs> That's a B power they don't often talk about. There are so many weird B powers. You have no freaking idea. How do I get north? You, you, you go north. Well, this city is a maze, okay? Oh, hey, buddy. Um, Do, you don't... No, just... just shh. He, he doesn't need to know. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, ooh, there's one. God, this is like hunting Riddler trophies. The jackals and vultures sing of the ancient stories. Carrion eaters have deep memories. They drink the past in congealing humors. What is time to us? We stand outside. Everything has happened. Everything is happening. Still misses the bombs. Okay, maybe... Maybe I can try to locate them. Through, like, I don't know... Cell phone sonar or some shit. Just do your magic hacking thing. You literally have magic hacking. Well, yeah, I'd like to... Look, I, I want to at least pretend there's some science behind it. Yeah, the science stops at the point that hooks up into the literal... Wait, there, there's one under the table. Where? Back back there. There. Ah, good. Right. Did you get them? Yeah, I'll just tell okay. the Council of Venice when I get there. Yeah, I got... First, I want to talk to this guy. Here he is. There's his house. He's got to find a door. Fingers crossed. You're right. We must fight back. I'll be there, I promise. Ha! Oh. Oh my god. It actually worked! We found one! Recruiting is so not in your future. I don't care how many were dead. That kind of conversion rate is brutal. Fortunately, you weren't really recruiting, just pissing around for the Maria. For your sake, I'm going to assume you're playing the infiltration angle again. Being nice, getting the Mario to trust you, encouraging them to play Human Shield while we look for the game changer. Fine, do what's necessary to appease your contacts and keep things reasonably quo. 
If that means signing up suckers for slaughter, so be it. Oh, God, Kate, how do you keep getting worse? Hello. How does she keep... There's cultists in town, too. Oh. Shit! My contact's about to die. That took too long. But the bombs are a distraction, damn it! That was well aimed. Like I said, it doesn't hurt people I don't Careful. want to hurt. The protections. They do not differentiate between friend and foe. Anything that smells of anima, clean or tainted, and the fireworks go off. That was the third attack in as many days. The Aten worshippers are getting more aggressive, and our defenses are under strain. We needed the help. Muchas gracias. This is all I have. The entire Council of Venice delegation. One field operative, Amparo Osorio, Buenas, and a handful of armed personnel. Hardly enough manpower to deal with a situation like this. Something has gone terribly wrong here. Far beyond the earthquakes, locust swarms, and rain of fire. These are things that are happening? Been taken from mm -hmm. this place. A dangerous artifact that may be behind the cruel wind that has brought these dark clouds upon us. I'm convinced that the Orochi are involved somehow. As are the Phoenicians, their loyalties can be bought. But there's someone else too. Someone with a lot of resources and friends in the highest places. Them? I do not know. But the Council won't listen. No one listens. My reports vanish in red tape, and I don't receive the resources I need. It's as if someone is deliberately trying to slow me down. And so I dig on my own and attract the attention of the cultists. I fear the council may be compromised from the inside. I don't know who to trust, oh. whether they want me to find the truth or if they want me to bury it deep below the sand. All I know is that this is too important to bury, too important to keep secret. Whatever it is that happened, it happened right here, in this town. Normal people were turned into mindless, murderous sheep, bent on darkness, death, and destruction. But like sheep, they only know how to follow. And if you follow the sheep, they might lead you to the shepherd. Yes? Maybe. Wow. It's the most effective Council of Venice agent I've ever seen. When the angels arrive, the demons leave. <laughs> it's a nice saying, no? It gives me hope. Except... The angels are here. But so are the demons. They have been here a long, long time, and they are not living. Some say the demons came only a little while ago, but this is not true. We have been living among demons for as long as anyone can recall. We have become blind to them. They are as much a part of this town as we are. I don't know how literal but she's being. I think she's referring to me, came, but I'm not long an angel. Before the earthquakes and meteors and ruined cities opened up, there were others. Now, why would anyone come to this town in the middle of the desert? I came here to escape, to hide. Now, unless you are born here or want to die here. I can think of no other reason to live in this place. <sighs> they were good at keeping secrets, the foreigners. They smiled and spent money but kept to themselves, and no one, no one questioned this. So I stayed quiet, because that is what you do. I'm a stranger too, and I cannot afford to make enemies. 
I have a business to run, still. Even as we face the plagues of Egypt, I have my customers to serve. And you angels, <laughs> you need to eat and drink as well, so that you can finally drive the demons away. No angel. Hmm. You ever wondered about the road not taken? Sometimes, yeah. You ever wonder, like, what if you'd, what if you knew it was down that road, and it wound up the same place as where you are now? Come in, come in. I mean, sometimes I kind of think that, you know, it's... <sighs> but things would still be different, you know? Mm. Because you wouldn't, because by going down a different road, you wouldn't be the same person, you know? But I might be doing the same thing. Yeah. Can you check the pl the Plethron website? Yeah, yeah. I'm sending you a sc I'm sending you a, sc a screen cap. I think they got a I think they got an office nearby. I kind of think that like no matter you know how things had gone, you know with with me, you, Illuminati, my sister, I think I would have always wound up on the run, you know. I don't think I could do yeah. that kind of thing for long. Hello. I knew I'd have to get out of there, and I knew they wouldn't let me. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Hello. I I don't know. I just I just 